Hey, what up, guys? This is Diplicture Again, and welcome to Victoria 2 Heart of the Darkness. Today, we are starting a Prussian campaign. That is correct. The country that had the most thumbs up uh, on a comment when I came back to check it out was Prussia. Uh, not too far after that was Sweden. It has been the Netherlands, Belgium, France, UK, Spain, Russia, America. I mean, the, the, there's been a lot of different countries up there. But I guess Prussia was in the luck, uh, or the Prussian voters did do a little... Uh, got a little combat seal there towards then and voted it up, so uh, Prussia it is. Nothing that I mind, or nothing that I don't mind playing, or nothing that I... Wait, it's it's a country that I don't mind playing, to put it in an easier way. Um, and yeah, we're going to start off in 1836. Uh, Heart of Darkness did not add a different starting date. It is not like a house divided. Uh, mind you that Prussia will probably be a lot bigger, and this actually not... Well, that didn't change at all, did it? Anyways, we're going to jump in as Prussia. Let's get to it. So, a Heart of Darkness, as you can tell with the menu background, is that it's technically a lot about colonization, and there's a lot of new things to it as well. This is quite a lot like Hearts of Iron 3 and, or any other Paradox Grand Strategy game. Uh, the games work pretty much the same. Let's take a look here. I like to do political map mode. That is my favorite. Uh, we're going to be in here... Uh, to look at the left, uh, we've got a fair amount of money. I will subsidize and open all factories on the list in case that hasn't been done. Uh, I'm planning to be a big capitalist state. Uh, okay, lots of uh, sphere here. I think this is going to be needed to later form the North German Confederation. Um, let's take a look at the budget. Uh, I will not tax the rich people. I will tax the poor. And this will leave us at a bit of a bad sum. I will increase... Our projected, or tariffs, should I say. Uh, administration, uh, we'll leave that at a... What is that? We'll leave that at 50% along with education. Education is a, it's incredibly good to have. National stockpile, uh, army, lowering that could be useful. I think I'll put that on 15%. I'll lower the navy ones as well, to just to make us some money. 30%, what's this? Construction, want to have that at 100. Now we'll be going plus. Let's see if we can increase our education a bit here. 60%. But this will obviously change as we start. Um, let's take a look here at the technology. Uh, okay. Hmm. Navy. Uh, I know that uh, it's good to have romanticism. We already have that. Realism, prestige gain, that is good. Uh, this one unlocks a lot of things. State and government, naturalism and imperialism, that is good. Expansionism. I think I'll go with uh, the ideological th thought. Uh, could go... A railroad is incredibly good to have, though. Cheap iron. Looks like we've got a good start here with the clean coal and all that. Medicine is incredibly good if you want to uh, uphold a good uh, colony. But I'll go with the ideal thought or ideological thought. It allows us another national focus. Talking about national focus, let's see what we have. Uh, what are our current national focuses? Looks like we haven't employed a single one. Uh, I'll go with one in Berlin. I want to encourage uh, capitalists. And in our region down here, uh, I'll do... Uh, where's a big population in these regions up here? I'll take in uh, Cologne here. In... Uh, well, encourage capitalists as well. They will build the factories for me. Let's see what's my max. Uh, two one here in Ostpreisen as well. Königsberg. Uh, looks like I can have another capitalist. Nope. Two is my max for now. Uh, newspapers sum up what's happening in the world. That's new. Politics. Gonna have to change some of these things here. Movements. Decisions. Build this canal. Gonna need some uh, research and area. Here we go. The North German Confederation. That's gonna be a goal early on. Uh, it says here the German Empire for all cores. Okay. Uh, this will happen pretty soon if I go on doing good. Uh, okay. I can release the following nations. Nothing that we will do. Trade is managed by the, the AI. Crisis, none yet. War justification, war. There's a few wars going on right now. Uh, right now, I think it's time to uh, get ourselves some alliances. They will not accept. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go for anything that is... Well, that simply say that they won't. They will not accept. Did they say that they would? No, they would not. Austria, they will not accept. 
UK and Prussia have usually been friendly. They will accept. <laughs> Who doesn't want to have an alliance with the most powerful nation in 1836? That would just be foolish not to. Russia, and obviously going to have to keep an eye on Russia. Uh, I think I'll form Austrian eye. I don't know. I doubt the Austrian eye would ever clash. Uh, we could, but I doubt that's going to happen. We have a good army up here. No leader, of course. Leaders are always going to be within second core. Seventh core, uh, fourth core. I don't think that's going to do much down there. Where is our navy? Three ships, clipper transports. Send them over there. That's about it, right? Navy wise, yeah. These two are not going to be too effective. I'll move them together, and I'll merge them up. Uh, quite a big army, not to be fucked around with. Um, Morocco, Tunis, 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 Tunis. Go to the mob diplomacy. Uh, who are they allied with? Cordial. Those could be either be allies or puppets, most believably. Africa. Where were we? Tunis. They don't seem to have much of anything, really. I'm going to justify war. Uh, annex an uncivilized country by forcing them to become protector of ours. Uh, have invented nationalism and imperialism. Uh, we're a great power. Uh, this would require us 10 infamy. Uh, I think we're pretty much ready to do that pretty soon. The reason why is because I want to have a foothold in Africa. I know a lot of things are going to go down, and I'm not going to fight a major power over it. Uh, and I'm not gonna, you know, bother. I couldn't just colonize here. Why? Because the life rating is too low and the naval, naval range, naval range, the naval range is too far off. So if I owned anything here in the in the, in the Mediterranean uh, Sea, then we could be, uh, obviously, have an easier time. Cyprus, allied with Moldavia and Wallachia. Nothing that I'm threatened by, so Cyprus could be a good jump. But Tunis looks better because no one is allied with Tunis. No one likes Tunis. Um... Is there anything I forgot? I do not think so. Um, doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. The rest will deal with itself. Let's play. At a decent speed. Okay, accepted alliance there. Budget is going up. Look at that number. Administration goes all the way to the top. We're going to hire this. No, that was a little uncomfortable. Put it at 50. I think our army can deserve that. Navy. Ooh, I would love to pull you up even further, but no. So now that we're not taxing the rich, they're going to be like, hey, we're going to start building factories here because we have money to spend. And that is super awesome. Uh, of course, it would be foolish of me not to check my own politics if my men are allowed to do so. We are currently conservative party. Uh, capitalists build factories, yes. Uh, capitalists expand. Capitalists open factories, yes. Prioritize factories, yeah. We can do that. Liberal Democrats, could they? Yes. It's pretty much everywhere, yes. There's a few parties in the world that will not allow uh, citizens to open up factories. We are going to have to expand the Navy, though, because we all know that. We're going to have to build Navy. Uh, in Europe, I will then build 10 Clipper Transports. One of these ships can hold exactly three weight. I believe that's three regiments, correct? This is a total of 21 weight. All right would make sense. So that's 13. If I want to have a good campaign down there, uh, do, 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 with attrition, I'd say I'll send down a core of 21. So I will, in fact, commence building that many. So we have 23. I'm not afraid of the enemy navy. Yes, I'll probably declare war while I'm down there. Uh, and if the British want to join me, we'll have the British navy at our hand as well, which is always really comfortable and good to have. Uh, other than that, I think it's pretty much good stuff. We're playing now for about 10 minutes, guys. Uh, here is where zik, we are going to end it. Uh, let's see, do I not have a single leader? I do not think I have a single leader. Military. Autocrate, auto build. We got a lot of cores, though. Got a lot of strength. Prussia is very strong at this time. Uh, but of course, we don't want to focus everything on colonial power. We do, of course, want to do other things as well. But Tunis, at this current stage, damn, son, it'd be good to get it. We don't have too many areas to build this in, but it'll all be done fairly soon. Uh, it looks like they're building one at a time. Not going to mobilize. Jeez. Interesting. I'm looking forward to this here. König, Königlich Preußische Marine. Anyways, guys, we're going to stop here. First episode done. If there's anything that you think I've forgotten to take a look at, now it's the time for you to, of course, tell me, hey, you forgot. Uh... 
So, do that, so Dindin Piedmont always good here in case France needs to fuck about with us. Of course, Two Sicilies, Italy isn't formed yet. Would also be good to have an alliance with. I'm gonna save it here, guys. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. I have certainly enjoyed Russia. This Portugal one here is multiplayer, and it's pretty old. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I like it. You like it. Don't forget to give me some heads up if you think I need to improve things. My name is Bitbox, will always be, hopefully. And I will see you guys the next time. Bye.